Thank you. Good, uh, good morning, everyone. Um, so my name's Lawrence Whittle. This is my seven minutes of fame, or as one of my colleagues said, it's, uh, it's like mass speed dating. Um, I think you've uh, sat through, I think I'm 53rd in terms of the presentations, and you know, I'm very conscious that we're all talking very, very quickly, and we actually may sound all the same. Um, I believe what I'm going to tell you about today is very different, and hopefully you agree that it's uh, very compelling. So I'm the Chief Revenue Officer for the company. I'm actually based out of uh, San Francisco. I've lived in the States for the last 10 years. We're actually originally a, a, a British company. We moved our company to Manhattan in 2012 as part of our Series A funding. Um, and we've raised around $40 million so far. We have 70 customers. Um, and an interesting fact, two of our more recent investors actually started off as customers. So American Express and Citibank um, were so delighted with the, uh, the, with the results, uh, they actually decided to invest in the company. Um, so what does Posado do? Um, in simple terms, we generate the most persuasive message every time with every digital touch point to your customers. So that may sound a big claim. But if you think about some mega trends, one mega trend is machine learning, machine smart machines. Um, always conscious about talking about smart machines with humans, um, but there are many tasks that machines are far better at doing than a human. Think about the average website of a credit card company. Um, statistically, there's about 16 million permutations that are semantically and grammatically correct. What Posado has done is figured out how to generate and machine learn to, to deliver the absolute perfect message. I'm going to show you how we, how we do this. So um, I imagine I'm responsible for uh, dormant customers within a credit card company. So I work for First Consumer Bank. Um, I want to try and get my dormant customers, customers that haven't transacted on their credit card for the last three months. So I've come up with a special offer. Um, so how could I generate my, uh, my email subject line or my, my banner ad or my Facebook ad? Well, I could sit around with my creative team and decide what might work, what's worked in the past, or I can go to Posado. So um, this is a campaign to my dormant customers. Um, so this is a segment. Need to spell correctly. Um, need to tell it a little bit about the brand. So this is extra special card. I need to say, when am I going to send this email? I'm sending this email on Tuesday next week. And I need to tell you a little bit about what is the, what is the particular email I'm sending. So is it a promotional email? No, it's, it's actually a reactivation. Now, this is where the machine kicks in. I can actually ask the machine now to generate one message. We've had billions of transactions in our system. Um, but we want to actually find out the absolute best message. So I'm going to machine learn. I'm going to select what's called a full exploration. So we will now generate a massive space, typically thousands of permutations, and then use a sampling mechanism to sample down to 16. So I'm going to generate 16 messages. You say to the average person, write me 16 messages. It's actually pretty difficult. Um, I need to understand a little bit about the sample size. I'm going to pull off part of my audience based on my historic uh, response rates. In this case, it's an open rate of 15%. Of so I'm going to experiment on 29,000 of my audience to figure out what really works. I can then tell it a few other things. So I'm actually going to give it uh, a particular sort of campaign title. It's 20% bonus on my reward points. Um, it's a special offer, limited time, and uh, it ends on the 29th, sorry, on the 19th of, uh, of the month. And there's other things I could I select. What these selections are doing are delving into large data where we've organized and scored it. So now what I'm going to do is to go into the cloud and generate scientifically 16 messages. Um, these messages are not in any way a judgment around creativity. It's about what might work in terms of motivating someone to take an action. And we're literally analyzing billions of transactions. And what it will then generate is these 16 messages. So it's now gone into the cloud and done that. And there you see there's 16 messages. You can look at some of them. They're all semantically and grammatically correct. I have no opinion about whether one is good or one is bad. I can hover over one of them, this one up here. Um, just go for it. Please consider this your invitation, 20% bonus on rewards. I can say I don't like that. What do you mean you don't like it? Well, I don't like it. OK. How about I click on an option? And it won't randomly generate a message. It will actually generate an alternative that's scored that's likely to work. So I'm actually going to say, please accept this invite. Now, how has this been generated? Within our engine, we have this huge architecture of language. 
So if you say to the average marketeer, did you know there's 19 primary emotions? Something like challenge or excitement. Um, under that are millions of words and phrases. So do you know whether I'm going to react to urgency or do you know whether I'm going to react to excitement? And so using this math and science, we're able to generate this spectrum of language. So I'm looking at those. I like them. I'm now going to basically click send, and that will integrate to my email platform. If it was a Facebook ad, to Facebook. If it was an SMS, to an SMS platform. They are then served, and depending on how many I send out, I'll then get an alert on my phone to say I've got a winning message. So now I'll go over to my dashboard, and it will come up, hopefully. There's my, my dashboard, which basically tells me I've got a winning message. The winning message for clicks is a small icon, which is an envelope, my first name, feel free to indulge rewards with 20% off. Now, how do we get that? Here's the 16 messages. These are the response rates. And you'll see there's a spread. What that means is that the audience that you've experimented on is very elastic to, to language, meaning if you can figure out the interaction of emotions and product features, you get a significant increase in response, rather than just randomly figuring out what might work. This red one down the bottom is actually the human-generated one. So you know, humans are still writing messages. As it happens, it performed the worst. That's not because the human's not smart. It's because there are millions of permutations. And if you can machine learn on an audience to understand how they want to be communicated to, you get a huge response. And the other thing is we also tell you why. So if you see this winning message, free, free, feel free to indulge, that is an emotional phrase. 67% of all consumer responses now are driven by emotions. We've uncovered that. So, in summary, with Posada, you can generate the absolute perfect message each and every time. And if there's one thing I want to leave with you in terms of why you may want to consider us as one of the top three, we generated $1 billion of incremental revenue to our customers last year. Thank you.